Um, so my parents started the company in the eighties. Um, they literally started with a backhoe and a dump truck. My dad ran the backhoe and my mom ran the dump truck. As my parents were growing the company, you know, there's, there's things that are the complications of growth and traditionally it's cash and it's being able to buy equipment. And you know, when you, when we figure out how to solve some of those problems, you can literally buy more equipment, but can't get more people. And so you can say, well, I need a, I need a greater guy that's got 30 years experience. There's not that many out there. So you go, okay, well, how can technology help? How can I get a, gra a grader that has the ability to do the quality we need? And how does the technology help us get the, get the tolerances we need for grade? What made us change to go into all GPS stuff is we were trying to grade a parking lot old school way with string lines, tape measures. Um, and it just got to the point that there was a stake every 10 feet and the equipment couldn't fit between them. So we ended up having to hire somebody else that had grade control GPS stuff to come do it for us. And we just thought that that was ridiculous. Like we need to step into the, the newer technology and do this ourselves. And that's when we decided to jump into one dozer and we started grading all our own parking lots and roads with one dozer. Then you start seeing the advantage of doing that. So then it just expanded into something else and then something else and then a grader and then excavators and it just grew. And just learning that process and you know, roads have a different tolerance than building pads um, and then figuring out when to go laser and when to go, you know, zone and when to, when to go off of GPS. I mean, there, there's different reasons to do different things. And, you know, when you're uninformed or you're new to this, you look at that as options like, well, here's, you know, I'm not sure which one we want and which one's better. Different situations call for different things. And that's the flexibility that Leica gives us is what's needed for today's project. And it's a, you know, it's a tool belt of things you can do depending on what you have to get done that day. I mean, it, it was a game changer. You could see the, the savings that you had, not only on the manpower, but on time on the machine. Um, things that used to take two, three labors to grade out in front of you with string lines and paint cans, that went away. Uh, the operators have, you know, enough to do just being in the machine, that's that's tough on a on a person, and you know they're worried about their surroundings and people, especially on some on these bigger side jobs that encompass more than than just our trade. It just makes their jobs easier and smoother. They know where they're at on the job site all the time, you know, grade and elevation wise, so they can they can see a lot more and see the whole picture without having to stop, grab a foreman open up a set of plans, it's on a screen right in front of them. I always tell people that this whole part of the company, the, the office the office side of the company exists for the sole purpose of making the guys in the field's lives as easy as possible. That's without them physically doing the work, none of this matters. You know, originally we had some frustrations with people because they just didn't know how it worked. So, I mean, it did take some training and some some coaxing to get some of the older guys to get into liking it, but they all really like it now and they don't want to do anything without it. I think I ran it for two days before I before it became natural. Nat naturally, you want to react a lot quicker than the, you're thinking, I need to pull this back fast, but for it to hold grade, you're not, not as quick as you want to you know you're not pulling you were i was fighting the machine basically and there's no need to i think initially it's been it was the the the, the user interface on both the dozer screen and the and the rover they were a lot more user friendly a lot more intuitive than than the competitors. Um, yeah, they do feel a little bit more confident in what they're doing. They, they at least know that it's right, you know? They're not second guessing a grade checker or second guessing what a foreman's telling them. They can see exactly where they're at, what's going on, what needs to go where. So it's given them some advantage to, so those guys that are sitting in a dozer or an excavator to, to have the knowledge that they, without having to ask somebody else. The surveyor was out here and we were just comparing ours with his just to make sure we were on the same. And we were within, I think, two hundredths difference. So, I can live with that. 
money's not the only thing. I mean, it, it costs what it costs to do the work. Doing it right, well, there's pride in that. There's, there's, you know, everybody has an ego. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to be the fastest. Yeah, the reports we're getting now are way more accurate than the guy out there with a tape measure and a, a, and a wheel trying to wheel stuff off. I mean, the guys are getting exact quantities in. They can shoot exact corners on building pads to show that stuff is done. They can record and as-built their own information. They can record and as-built roads when they're done grading them. You know, it, it's, it's changed the game on being able to record and get the data in here instantly. I mean, going into it, I just hope that you know, it would it would make us make our quality. It would improve our quality. It, it would improve our our speed. You know, I never thought about it changing the way you know the relationships that we have to build trust. A lot of people anymore. It's it's come down to where you have to prove yourself. This industry's changed to where you know a handshake is no longer you need to prove yourself and the rover we can take our as-built shots on anything we want and send them to our office directly within minutes and andrew has our all the information he can go back through the plans check and make sure that we're we're within compliance or we're right out so the technology has changed the a lot of the back and forth between uh, GC or owner and us, the subcontractor, where we can we can show with the technology that that what we that we've done what we say we've done and it's and it's right. You know that's huge change and you know we're not just saying I'm right. Here's my data and all this data that shows that we, we built it per the intent of the design. Yeah, we've had a lot of clients even now that are starting to write into their specs and standards that they want GPS as built on building pads before their next subcontractor comes in. Before the footing guy shows up, they want to, they want GPS as built and we just do it ourselves now without having to call a third party. You know, pe people don't want to have delays. People don't want to have rework. Um, you know, everybody schedules you know, start to finish, start to finish, start to finish. And if you say, hey, I'm done with the road. Oh, but now I need three more days to go fix it. I mean, they've got the paver guy sitting there waiting on you. So yeah, you, you got to be able to hit schedules. You got to do it right the first time. You got to be able to build quality as you're going. It's not hurry up and build it and then go check quality later. It's got to be done right as you're going every day. And that's got to be part of your daily process of getting started in the morning of where am I at? Is my elevations right? Am I checked in? Is my blade work corrected? You know, am I building a quality product as I'm going? I have it on my phone and I can walk somewhere and I can tell you if it's low or high. And it's perfect. It can tell me if I'm standing right here, this two foot cut or, you know, you're on grade. I can just pull it up. It locates me and I can tell you it's awesome. Yeah, um, the technology in the business has changed dramatically over the 25 years I've done this. It's been amazing to see between GPS on job sites to rovers on job sites, machine control. I mean, all that stuff has just been amazing. An iPad in your hand that is sharing data information that they're collecting in a rover that we can send directly to a foreman on a job site while he has an iPad in his hand. I mean, that stuff is just amazing. You can share information instantly. The stuff is automatic. I mean, flipping a switch and a dozer and putting something on grade is just crazy to me. I mean, like I said, it, it doesn't take three guys pulling a string line anymore. It's one guy in a dozer, one guy with a rover. Checking grade, buzzing right down a road, putting stone down or checking grade. It's, it's not a fleet of people anymore. Um, so it has been amazing to see change. I mean, just the quality of all the stuff that we have out there in the field anymore. It's, it's not just a dirty, grimy job for, for some ditch digger. It's, there's a lot of technology out there. There's a lot of smart stuff. Down the path, I think uh, the construction person is becoming more of a construction professional. I think we're, you know, we're catching up to the, the professional world, you know, with with the implementation of technology and and you know 
just the way we interact with with each other, with the outside world. It, you know, it, I think you know, in construction. You know, people can give you, you know, that that you're a you know roughneck or you're you know a ditch digger. Or, you know, you're not you're not complicated. And maybe we use foul language, um, but people have pride and they and they want to build quality and they want to be the best. I mean, all that stuff is is what makes you more competitive in the business. So it has helped tremendously. It's helped with, you know, the fleet of people. If you don't have to have the 60 year old dozer guy anymore, you can have the 25 year old dozer guy that can put a high quality work out there. The old way is not an option anymore. And that's how, that's how grade control and technology works now. You, know, you can still do it. It can be done by hand. You can go out there and put stakes and lath and you can do it. It's just slower and it's not as accurate. It, so it takes longer, it costs more. And so then the question is, we're going to keep doing it that way or are we going to you know, go with the new way? I mean, I don't, I don't think we came out of the Stone Age because they ran out of rocks.